Hey guys, how's it going? Austin or Julia Picker here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my finds from a flea market that I went to this Tuesday or today, whenever this video gets uploaded. This is uh, Tuesday the 13th, I think. Um, so there's a flea market in uh, Brimfield, Massachusetts. It's uh, like one of the biggest in the country. So it's my first time going there and it was awesome. I did really well. I spent around 300 and something, $337 there. And then like another... 180 or 200 or 260 with someone else um yeah it's like 230 or so i think with someone else but um yeah we got gold we got platinum actually uh james avery tiffany yerman etc uh so let's get started here uh first guy here is this ring i got this from one vendor i got a bunch of stuff like the i got uh jane seymour um James Avery, etc. from one vendor. So, uh, in total, probably around 100 bucks for that vendor. So, I'll let you know if uh, what pieces were from the... Also, I'll call it the large vendor. So, yeah. Uh, so, this is from the large vendor. Um, actually, no, that sounds weird. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, this is a Tecori ring. Um, I don't really know too much about Tecori. I know that uh, some really expensive jewelry stores hold this. It's probably similar to Jane Seymour. But, um... Yeah, it's just sterling. It says Takori to, to IV, so Takori 4. And then it says uh, CZ United by China. Um, yeah, it's really dirty. I'm going to get it clean. I think it's probably worth around 60 bucks afterwards. So, yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, next here. This is from another vendor. This was 10 bucks. It's a little Sajin uh, sterling uh, fish pin. Probably some sort of, like, carnelian or amber there. I don't know. It's, like, uh, see-through, so... I don't think it's carnelian actually, but uh, it's pretty cool. Nice little pendant there for ten bucks. Uh, next here, this was uh, twenty dollars. It's a uh, Judith Hipper ring. It's a prasiolite stone, and I've had a pair of earrings. If you guys remember a few months back, I sold them for like seventy-five bucks. So uh, for twenty bucks, I figured I'd take the chance. Uh, a little different stamping in this Ripka ring here, but it's Judith Ripka and uh, DQCZ. So. Um, I know that's Diamondique, so I don't know, maybe Diamondique has a line of Judith Ripka or something, or, I don't know, something like that. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, then from, actually, the thrift store, to stop there on the way home. I got these. These were originally $34.99, but they were 75% off, and so I got them for, like, $8.25 or so. Uh, these ones are Carolyn Pollack, uh, stamped right there. Uh, couldn't find the sim same one, so I listed them for like 55 bucks. So let's see what happens with those. Um, here's the Jane Seymour that I got from that one vendor. Oops. Uh, so here's the first one. This one was five bucks. Um, it he had basically just a bunch of bins of stuff of just sterling and like, yeah. Um, I got some really good stuff in there. I'll show you guys afterwards, but, um. Uh, yeah, so here's the first Jane Seymour piece. It has uh, blue and uh, white diamonds. Uh, I couldn't find the same one by Jane Seymour. There is one in 10 carat by some sort of jewelry company. I don't know who, but it was like 400 bucks or so. But So yeah, here's this. Uh, the Jane Seymour mark is uh, JWBR in 925. And then it's also stamped so with some serial number on the chain. And then 925 on the clasp. Yeah, I couldn't find the same one on this one, which kind of sucked, but it's whatever. Uh, then I got three Jane Seymour pendants from him. So uh, we got the open heart, or double open heart, and then this one is a uh, infinity pendant, and then here's like a, some sort of little double heart pendant. Uh, these two have tiny little diamond accents, like two each, and then this one's just a plain sterling heart. So yeah, uh, they're all marked uh, JWBR. Like the other one. And then the last Jane Seymour piece is this one. Uh, tennis bracelet. I've never seen them make tennis bracelets before. I've never heard, seen that in her line. But it, it's a stamped JWBR925. Uh, no idea what the stones are. They aren't diamonds. Uh, probably some sort of like, I don't know, CZ or Sapphire. I don't know. I don't want to spend like 300 bucks or 200 bucks on that uh, gem tester thing. But I probably will at some point. So, yeah. Uh, I think he charged me like 10 or so on this, and the charms were like 5 a piece. So, yeah, pretty reasonable prices. 
Uh, it was all sold by weight, like a dollar fifty a gram or a dollar something a gram. Not too sure exactly, but uh, yeah. Um, I got this from the thrift store. Actually, if you guys remember last video, I said that there was a J King necklace that I left that I should have got. So I went back and it was there. So for twelve fifty, I got this, and um, I I forget this. It's like Silas drawing or something. It's in the listing. I already listed it. But it's actually a pretty expensive piece. It's worth around 100 bucks or so. So, yeah, I realized that after I got home. So, uh, yeah, here's that. As usual, my uh, eBay and uh, email is in the description. So if you have any questions or any prices or anything, just let me know. Um, all right, so we got uh, four gold-filled bangles here. Let's see. So this one, let's start off with this one. This one I got from one vendor. This one was $12. Uh, there's the stamping right there. It says 120th, 12 karat, gold filled, and then HFB, which is the maker. They actually all have, it except this one, the same maker. So yeah, this one was a nice little purchase there. It has a nice, uh, like a matte finish on it. And then for these ones, these ones were 40 for the three. So the first one here, I shall start off with this one. This one is a uh, Vandel. Uh, gold filled. So this is Vandal and then 120th 12 karat. Uh, no stamps on this thing, but it has a nice uh, design here. It's not engraved, which is good. So yeah, there's that. And the next one is this one. It's a little plain, but um, same maker HFB. So it's very gold filled. Pretty basically the exact same one, except just not a matte finish. And then the good one, the best one, was this one here. It's in really good shape. Uh, no damage at all. Really nice engraving or etching here, like a diamond cut blade. And it's uh, 120th, 12 karat gold filled. And then HFB again. So, yeah, there's that. And uh, those three, the three bangles alone. Uh, hold on. These three here, there's uh, 48 grams. So I paid under melt for those. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, then from the vendor I got that $12 gold filled cuff from, or bangle, was this. One second, I forgot to turn off the humidifier, but I'm back. Uh, so I got this. This was $7. It's a, uh, I think it's gold filled or rolled gold or something. It's most likely gold filled, though. It's a uh, Waltham pocket wash. Um, I don't really know too much about pocket watches, but, um, yeah, it's uh, Montauk and then guaranteed 20 years. Um... I think it's worth around like 50 bucks or so. It's kind of like on and off when it runs. Like if I were to shake it, it ticks, but then it goes right off. So I don't know, but it's pretty cool. It has a nice, uh, the crystal's in good shape. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, then I got these. These two were 65 for the both. Uh, this one is a Native American turquoise cuff. Uh, this one's unsigned, but a nice heavy piece. Uh, should do probably around 200 in this. So, uh, yeah. And then this one here, uh, this one is signed. This one's signed um, C. Davis uh, with red coral and turquoise. Uh, nice ring. Um, should get around 80 to 100 for that one. That could be way, I think, maybe let's say 60 to 100 on that. All right, so uh, we're getting to the better stuff now. Still on the sterling though. Uh, first one is this. This one was $10 from that one vendor. Um, it's a James Avery necklace, but it's not in the best of shape. Uh, it has two kinks here, and I can't. I tried to get them out, but they're like kind of damaged. Um, stamp 925, then Avery. And then the clasp is 925. Um, it's, I have enough for 50. I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. I don't really know if anybody's going to want it, considering the condition it's in, but sorry. Uh, I know sometimes the James Avery scrap does go for a decent amount, so yeah, there's that. And then the next James Avery piece is this. This one was $45. It's a, a retired hammered collar necklace um, stamp with the James Avery stamping right there. The candelabra with a JA and then, uh, hold on. All right, yeah, the JA and then the stir, so sterling. Uh, weighs about like 40 grams or so, so I paid 45, not bad. And then this one was 35, probably from the same person who, where he got it from. Uh, another James Avery hammered P 
piece. It's a hammered cuff, JA, the candelabra, and then sterling. Uh, this one's worth a little bit more, like 10 or 15 bucks more. Um, it is retired as well. Really nice uh, piece here. So, yeah. There's that. Um, for $10 from him, I got this. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this cleaned and repaired. Uh, most of you probably already know what it is, but it's a David Yurman ring. Uh, the pearl, it's... I don't know. It's kind of just junk. It needs to be repaired. It is a real pearl, but it's been, like, through hell. Excuse my language, but, yeah. So, uh... It's stamped Stir and then 14 Carat. And then on this side, it's stamped uh, D. Yerman for David Yerman. There's like a bunch of junk right back here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to clean that up. But, yeah, it's already coming out. Oops. Yeah, it's already coming out. So, I'll clean that up. Um, I'll probably polish it before I send it in to get fixed. But, yeah, just a new stone. A little bit maybe on the gold here. But, um... Yeah, so this one was ten dollars. Uh, in good shape, it's worth around three to four hundred. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm just gonna show this, and I'll go to the other stuff. Uh, this one wasn't from him. This was from a different vendor, but it's a uh, Tiffany and Co. Uh, sterling cushion band ring. It's a square one. Uh, this one was forty five, but it's worth around hundred and fifty or so. So this one was a good purchase. It has a bunch of scratches though, so that's why it was priced a little lower. But I should still do okay with that. Alright, so from the one guy, I got this for $5. It's a little Tiffany & Co. Uh, Elsa Peretti heart pendant. Uh, the stamping is a little different, but it is real. It's just an older stamping. So Tiffany & Co. Peretti 925. Uh, worth about... Someone has it listed for 120 I think it's a little too much. So I put it for around $90. Uh, it's the medium size one, so it's bigger than the little small one that I've had before. So, yeah, there's that. Then I found, oops, sorry. Then I found this for ten dollars. This one was a good one. It's a uh, older one. It's a uh, sterling and eighteen carat little ball right there, and it's stamped uh, Tiffany and Co. right there. Uh, they range in price from like a hundred bucks or hundred and thirty to uh, like two fifty. I put mine at the lower end because I just want to move stuff, especially since I only have ten bucks into this. So, uh, yeah, this one should sell fairly quickly. I think it's a nice desirable. It's uh, called the Love Knot. So yeah, there's that, and then. The best silver piece that I got from him is this. I paid $5 for it. Um, this is a Tiffany & Co. Uh, Paloma Picasso heart bracelet, and that's a diamond right there. Um, it's Dan Paloma Picasso right there. And then T & Co. AG925. Yeah, so he had just a bunch of stuff, and it was there was like certain makers, other makers just mixed in with other stuff. Uh, I asked him if he had any Tiffany. He just said no, just some sort of uh, Cartier Paul Revere bowl, and then like a Tiffany uh, set for like a uh, uh, pitcher and that kind of thing. So yeah, um, so for five bucks, that was a killer deal. It's worth about there was a sole listing of one hundred and eighty, no other listing, so I listed it at two fifty nine. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, so now onto the gold, and then we got one necklace that's platinum. So I'll start off with this. I picked this up from the thrift store for 30 bucks. Uh, they had it marked as sterling, but uh, I tested these while we were there. And uh, and this little charm here. Let me show the other side. And these three here are gold, and this is a little gold charm with a diamond. So for 30 bucks, this is definitely a good purchase. I'll end up just scrapping it. It's not really... Uh, I mean, it's a nice piece, but... I was mainly just after the charm because I think it's a nice charm and it'll sub leave quickly for me. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, so actually the first booth that I went to at the flea market, I spent $25. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got four gold pieces. Nothing major. Um, first one I picked up was this. It's, uh, I don't think it's marked, but it is, it did test as for, eh. Hold on, do I see a mark? No, no stamps, but the test is 14 karat. Uh, I'm assuming an aquamarine. This one I'll be going to Mercari, but if anybody wants it, I'd do 40 bucks on this. It's a decent size, actually. It's not tiny. So there's that. Um, the next piece here is this. This one looked like, like costume at first, uh, just by the way the stones were set on the top. But it's not. It's actually 14 karat. Um, stamped 14k up there. 
Yeah, it's stamped. Um, and these are diamonds right there, and I'm assuming this is an amethyst. So, that's the second gold piece. Um, the third one is this. This one was a good one. It's, uh, it's probably a blue topaz with uh, diamonds around here. I have a chain perfect for this, so that's where this will be going. It's uh, stamped 14K right there. And it has like two and a half, three grams to it, so that's a nice one there. And then I get the last piece here is this little gold ring. Uh, CZ, it's a Diamondique, I think. It says uh, DQ, yeah, so Diamondique and then 14KP, meaning 14 karat plum. So, not plated. But uh, yeah, nice little ring here. So for 25 bucks, it's like six or seven grams of gold. Or maybe a little less, maybe like five. Um, let's see. Next here, this was 10 bucks. Little gold charm, with a little diamond. It's a uh, 14 karat, pretty light. Probably around, let's, let's weigh it. I'm gonna say 0.7 grams. All right, almost one gram, so that's pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, it's up to around like 28 to 30 dollars. So not bad there. Um, so from that guy again, I got this. This was four dollars. This was in the this is silver bins. It's a little 14 karat white gold bracelet. Uh, stamped 14k Italy right there. It's a really light, it's like two and a half grams, but it's just damaged, like, it's just twisting around, so I'm just gonna scrap it. But, uh, yeah, it's also stamped 14 karat right there. And then, uh, the, the maker is a Rezzo, it's an Italian maker. So, yeah, there's that. Um, then I got this from, actually, the lady who I got that Goldfield bangle in the pocket watch from. This was $5. It was a little piece of a uh, 14 karat chain, probably. Oh, I just broke it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, stamped, uh, 14 karat right there. Excuse my fingernails. So, yeah, there's that. Probably not like, I didn't weigh it. We can check, though. I'm gonna say, like, 0.8 grams. Yeah, spot on. That's pretty good. Um, next we got this. This was $5 from that guy again. Uh, mixed in with the sterling. I found this little 14 karat white gold bracelet. Uh, Singapore chain, I think it's called. Um, stamped 14 karat right there. And then also 14 karat on the glass, but it's not going to show though. But it's stamped right there. Uh, I actually did not weigh this one. And I'm curious to see what it weighs. So let's get the weight on this. 1.1, 1. 1, 1 gram. Okay, that's actually pretty good. This would sell fairly quickly in Mercari then, considering it's lightweight. All right, so now going into the better stuff, uh, I'm gonna get these two out of the way first. Uh, this one I uh, got from a friend. I paid uh, full price, or scrap price on this, so 100% melt, uh, but the diamonds are nice, so I think I could sell it pretty easily. It's a 14 karat right there, F. R14 carat and some nice diamonds there, nice men's ring. It actually fits me pretty well, so I don't know, but it's an engaged ring, and I'm not wearing an engagement ring at 16, so <laughs> yeah, there's that. And then I also traded her some uh, gold that I had for this necklace. Um, I don't think these are CZs. I'm pretty sure they might be maybe like white sapphires or something. So yeah, there's another reason why I should get the gem tester. But yeah, and it's a uh, stamped 14 carat right here. So yeah, nice necklace there, like 13 grams or so. All right, so now to the last two pieces. Um, I paid 10 bucks each. The first one is this. This one was mixed in with a sterling, and this one is a 14 karat white gold uh, name necklace. Um, this chain is an older chain because uh, it has a patent mark on the clasp, but a nice double box clasp uh, piece. Uh, stand the patent mark right there, and then it says 14 karat right there. And then these uh, little charms aren't marked, but tested really well, and they are 14 karat. Uh, pretty heavy too. This guy weighs like 9 point something grams, so for 10 bucks, that was an amazing deal. Um, yeah, 9.8, so basically 10 grams of gold for 10 bucks. It's like really good. And then, uh, the best find, I don't know if it's the best find, but, uh, for $10, I found this. 
This was mixed in with a sterling. And I was looking at the clasp, and I'm like, okay, that's a pretty unique clasp. Um, stamped uh, Italy. Um, then I had another tag there, so I got my loop out. And sure enough, it said 950 PT on the little tag right there. It's not going to show. It's in that little diamond there. But uh, yeah, 950 PT. And this guy's a little diamond right there. And uh, it's really heavy because platinum is pretty dense. So um, scraps are like 200 and something, 250 or so. So yeah, that was a really, really good purchase. So I was really happy with that. So yeah, this was definitely a really good haul. Um, got a lot of really good stuff to sell. I um, think I'll do really well with this stuff here. So let's just get to wait for everything. Or most of I can do. Um, let's see, I'll just put that on there. And there's a couple of stones, but who cares? Um, where did I put the other ring? I can't find it, but I'll just put the platinum on here as well. Yeah, so let's just say almost like 50 grams of like pretty good. Well, let's just say 45 grams of gold. We'll just say that's the ring or whatever. So yeah, um, really good haul today. I uh, did really well uh, considering what I spent. I think everything came out to like 560 or so. So um, yeah, definitely worth a two hour drive from Connecticut. And uh, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if your piece was in the comments. And, uh, yeah, remember to drop a like, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.